Well, it's, uh, we just uh, launched that uh, BT-35. BT-35 is our next generation uh, long-range uh, live and cruise uh, EVTOL. It's an uh, electric vertical table and landing uh, aircraft. We're very excited that uh, it has uh, two key features uh, in the BT-35, uh, focused on safety and efficiency, right? So we, we launched that yesterday, and uh, we received a strong interest uh, from our existing customer as well as the, you know, also draw lots of attention overseas. Yeah, and in terms of the safety, uh, it actually uh, it has a full redundancy design. So all the key components, such as uh, flying control system, communication system, power system, uh, motors, and propellers, we all have a redundancy design. So in case of uh, any malfunction during the flight, the uh, backup system will immediately be initiated uh, to ensure the safety of the flight. And also it's autonomous, as you mentioned, that is pilotless. The currently is the uh, only pilotless uh, long range, uh, uh, even though among the top 10 players uh, globally. Uh, we believe that uh, using a machine calculation is uh, eventually will be safer than uh, a human pilot, especially when we use uh, EVITO as a, a transportation uh, vehicle. Think about that if uh, in the low altitude uh, space uh, in the city with the hundreds of EVITO flying at the same time, uh, uh, having pilots is quite dangerous. So uh, we believe that uh, pilotless is the way to go, and we are the only provider for that among the top uh, 10 players. And also in terms of the, we, uh, we, you know, the, the, we have the uh, obstacle avoidance uh, system that the power by LiDAR, radar, um, sensors, and, uh, and cameras uh, uh, together with our proprietary technology to ensure the safety. I'm reading here that it's going to be Hefei and Shenzhen, the first cities to be able to have this uh, flying automated taxi service. This could be used for taxis, for logistics, for emergency services. But what would the cost of a flight, what would that look like? Yeah, as you, uh, in the very beginning, you mentioned that I was currently selling at about 6.5 million RMB which is uh, uh, compared to global peers on the long range EVITO, which they, they are selling mostly at uh, three million US dollar plus to even like uh, six, seven million US dollars. So with this uh, uh, the cost effectiveness and also the you know, pilot uh, structure, so we, we, uh, our target is to um, provide a ticket at a very, very affordable price, uh, very, uh, maybe compared to like a DD premium car, you know, uh, cheaper than that, uh, slightly more expensive than the DD branded car for uh, commuting. Yeah, so uh, it's uh, gonna, gonna be very uh, competitive and uh, very uh, prevailing, uh, give us several years time. You were talking about your vehicles being autonomous, your aviation craft, uh, but uh, what is the compelling advantage uh, over helicopters? And do you think that the autonomous low altitude aviation vehicle will be on market before we have autonomous vehicles driving around on the road? Uh, yes, very, very possible. That uh, uh, compared to helicopter, firstly, helicopter is you know, very big in size and very costly. You know, our stru cost structure overall is uh, 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 you know, uh, many, many, a lot cheaper than a uh, regular helicopter. And uh, most importantly, a uh, helicopter is uh, ga using gas and create lots of noise. That's the reason uh, they're very noisy. That's the reason it's never been prevalent in the urban area. But with the electric design and uh, uh, distributed uh, propeller system, you know, it, uh, the, the level of noise is definitely acceptable. You know, using that as a public transportation, definitely it's, uh, it's uh, based on the speed of the infrastructure building in the city. It eventually will become like uh, air taxi services. And uh, Thomas, we have already, uh, we, our first model that uh, EH216 has uh, uh, received, uh, obtained all the necessary certificate from the authority, and we already uh, start to apply that uh, in uh, many uh, scenic areas. It's autonomous. So in terms of autonomous uh, uh, without pilots, it's already happening uh, in a certain area. But in terms of uh, more like uh, urban area prevailing using air taxi, it, uh, we definitely foresee that's going to happen and uh, give uh, several years time after the mis uh, all the miserable uh, government has built up the, the take of landing site and infrastructure for the poor and uh, digital uh, control, uh, command control uh, digital net. 
And you are looking at expansion. You had your first EV toll flight in the African market. Can you tell us about that and the new markets that you have your eyes on? Yeah, globally, that uh, other than us, that uh, in the U.S. market and the European market, there are also uh, peers that are making that. And so it's a new industry. It's going to take off. And uh, many countries, such as uh, uh, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Middle East, and Southeast Asia, such as Thailand, you know, and many countries are extremely interested, uh, Korea and Japan, we all have a customer uh, among these areas. So um, they have foreseen the benefit of having EBITO to solve the traffic jam problem. As you know, that uh, in the urban area, especially larger city or uh, with uh, lots of population, traffic jam never been solved. For example, like uh, in, in, even in the uh, vocational site, for example, in Phuket Island, right, each uh, year have uh, 11 million visitors, but from taking from the airport to hotel, it takes uh, more than an hour, but by uh, it probably take, uh, you know, less than uh, 15 minutes. So it has a very strong benefit to solve the traffic problem. Yeah, so uh, many, many countries uh, globally are looking into this, and Yihang is a leader in the global advanced air mobility industry. Yeah. I'm curious to know, uh, this is very exciting. Uh, it's going to be like living in the Jetsons, that cartoon uh, that I grew up watching. Uh, you're talking about, uh, I want to know about your company's earnings uh, because you're still loss making. What is your path to profitability? Yes, you know, there are several uh, listed companies in the EVDO sector globally. We are the only one generate the minimum for uh, revenue. Others uh, have a pre-order, but uh, only operating expenses. Yeah, so um, we, uh, actually have achieved uh, adjusted uh, net profit for the whole year 2024. And in the second quarter this year, on the adjusted level, we also achieved a net profit uh, over 9 million RMB. Uh, but in terms of the U.S. gap in the U.S. listed company, the U.S. gap uh, standard, uh, we target to uh, have a whole year uh, profitable in, by 2027. I want to get your outlook here because I'm looking at that you guys had adjusted your revenue projections down from 126 million to 70 million. What was the reasoning behind that? Yeah, it's a new industry. It takes time, and um, instead of uh, accelerating uh, order delivery in the second half of this year, you know, we place a top priority in building up the support system and operation for our customers. Yeah, we want to ensure our customer in the future, when they come, become a commercial operation, they will have a, like a safe and orderly and regular uh, operation. So currently we are building up like a more than 100 flying control uh, staff, ground staff, to, to ensure that the next year when everything is ready, we'll be able to support our customer in a larger scale.